HGTV with Illingworth and Gregory here with Matthew Burton. Matthew, thanks for joining us and congratulations, first of all, on your new role at the club. Just tell us a little bit about how you see your role as Schools Focus Ambassador actually working. Uh, thank you, first of all. Um, I'm just delighted, really. I mean, it's the only time as a, as a town fan, I'm 33, I thought my time of signing for town had, had sort of gone by now. But um, how I see my, my role as Schools Ambassador is, is, is essentially working with Sean and, and, and with, with the commercial team and, and um, working them on sort of how we can best utilise the, the, the local population and, and how get them in, interested and involved in the club and but similarly how the club can help schools and, and, and really support schools in the, in the messages that they want to get across because I think a lot of the values that schools hold very dearly to them and, and a lot of the values that the club hold very dear are, are very very similar and, and sort of overlap um, and getting those messages out positively and making sure that uh, young people have got the excellent role models that there are at the club I think is, is really really positive so I'm very excited. Obviously, the schools themselves are absolutely key to this scheme working. It's been running for a number of years now. We're looking to expand it this season. From a, a school's point of view, how good is it that you can offer your children at school something like this, like cheap tickets to currently see the best team in the Skybet Championship? Uh, absolutely, and, and uh, I, I, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I spend a lot of my days sort of um, reveling in the fact that we're top of the league at the moment, and uh, and that's great. And the kids, I mean, from from, from Thornhill, where I, where I work, I'm are absolutely buzzing uh, the, the town fans are absolutely buzzing about how how well we're doing and, and, and that's wonderful and actually to give them something really positive on a on a Saturday afternoon or a Tuesday night or a Sunday afternoon that's coming up um, is is great and because I, I remember you know as a as a, as a, as a child coming to, to the matches I remember um, I was lucky enough my, my dad used to bring me but um, I, I used to really look forward to it all week and I think it's it's great and, and if the club can sort of support schools in, in other ways in alternative ways as well then, that, then that's great as well and I think um, it's sort of a you know there's a lot of partnerships out there that can really really thrive These impressions you get as a kid when you first start coming like you do with your family like kids might do through Schools Focus are very important so it's not all about cheap tickets to come but it's about what happens when you get here as well and I know the club puts a lot of focus on family activities things for kids once they're inside the ground too Absolutely, it's great. I mean, the, the, the dizzy penalty is always the one that um, that people obviously la obviously lap up. But uh, yeah, I remember. I remember it was. It, it's come on so much in the last few years, and, and the sort of entertainment and the sort of um, the, I suppose the, the show that comes with the the football. But you know, the main event is those ninety minutes or, or what was it, ninety eight on uh, on Saturday, and uh, and it's really important. And to see that you know them going so, as well as they are at the moment is um, is wonderful. I suppose you can come at this from a different perspective as well, given your, your career and the life that you lead. You, you see a different side to these kids. You also know these kids really well. So do you think you can add that element to the school's focus initiative here? I'd, I'd love to think so. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not coming to this saying I know everything about every single school, but I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I'm in my 11th year of teaching now and I'm, it, I've got some experience in, in schools and, and, and with young people. And I think I'd like to sort of bring any expertise and any tips and any sort of... Um, knowledge that I might have about schools and about how schools work and that sort of thing um, and and what schools want really as well because it's it's it is about that partnership and making sure that um, schools get what they need from the, the partnership and 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 what can can young people who are, I suppose are, uh, are are the centre of everything what can they take from it as well. While we're talking, Matthew, I'd be remiss not to ask you if you're enjoying this season or not. I know you've just been telling us off camera you've been a, a town fan since you were five years old. How would you rate this season in terms of the seasons you've seen so far? Oh, I think it's it's just dull. Uh, uh, no, it's it's absolutely wonderful. Um, it, it's it's I hate to use the word buzzing, but every single Saturday I'm, I'm sort of buzzing for the next game, and uh, I I can't wait to see where it takes takes us. I'm slightly concerned though that we've just booked my brother Stag do for the day of the playoff final, so we'll see what happens there. Um, it's uh, it's, we'll, we'll, we shall see, but uh, we may not need that if we go up as champions, of course. Matthew, thank you and welcome to the club. Thank you very much. We're joined now by Sean Jarvis. Sean, thank you for joining us. We just spoke to Matthew Burton. How important a role do you think Matthew has in the success of the school's focus initiative this season? Yeah, having Matthew uh, and somebody of his calibre involved in the school's focus and our relationship with schools, I think, is, is very important, really. I think Matthew is very high, high profile in terms of being a teacher not just locally but nationally as well so so having his knowledge his experience uh, his profile associated to it I think is, is very very important for the club and it'll help us get that message out there to not only schools but parents and kids as well so I think um, Matthew being involved in this advisory role and and of course he's got a day job you know he's still a teacher but he's uh, he's an ambassador for the school for us and the school's focus now so so yeah, delighted to have him on board and I'm sure he's going to really contribute to what we're trying to do. 
We're lucky enough to have a lot of people who have kids at schools in the area involved in the Schools Focus initiative, but how important do you think it is to have someone looking at it from a school's perspective and from a teaching perspective like Matthew can? Yeah, do you know, uh, I think you can fall into the trap that you think you know the answer all the time, and I think uh, despite us trying all these different initiatives over the years, sometimes it's nice to have a fresh pair of eyes kind of look on what we're doing, and I think with Matthew... It clearly brings that, and I think Matthew's experience, certainly with educating Yorkshire, he knows how things work and how we can help communicate to schools and, of course, to parents and children. So, so having that knowledge, I think, is invaluable, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to working with him on a regular basis. And, and I know he's keen to help us get the message out there to schools and how we can sort of generate more fans into the ground. So, so, yeah, it's going to be exciting times ahead, I think. It's worth saying as well that that message is a slightly different one this season. So Schools Focus has existed for a number of years now, but it's expanded slightly this season. If you can explain briefly how that works. Yeah, definitely. I think um, in terms of what we've done, we took a look at it uh, over the summer and how we felt that it could work better. So rather than put the emphasis on schools to do the work, we, we, we kind of went to the schools, well, how do we get mums and dads really bought into this? And they said, well, we can operate as the catalyst, but... Uh, mums and dads will make the decision. So we've gone through the schools to get the leaflets to mum and dad. Uh, and I think now we're starting to sort of see that children are uh, pestering their mum and dads to get them to come to the games, which is kind of the effect we want. I think Saturday against QPR, we saw, I think, around about 500 people take up the offer. So for us, that's a really encouraging start. And of course, we've got Rotherham on Tuesday night. I mean, we'd hope that people come along, even though it's a school night, we want them to come along and, and be part of it. So, um, so yeah, it's encouraging startings for, for this project. And we would encourage schools and parents to talk to each other and sort of discuss with us how they can get more and more involved. And I think that's where we want the fan base to sort of generate uh, an interest with the schools and vice versa. So, so yeah, we're going to work with them and really try and build up that, uh, crank up that enthusiasm for the club. It's important to say as well that this offer is now open to every one of the Home League games at the moment, running up until Christmas. There'll be a new brochure in the new year, but it's a simple case of making sure you've got your booklet from the school, bringing it to us, and we'll do the rest. Yeah, and the, the, the booklets are out there, and some schools, uh, I think, are still uh, distributing them to their to their pupils. Uh, but don't put, just put it in a drawer and forget about it. We would encourage you to, to use the vouchers that are in there and uh, obviously come along and be part of it. And I think the the game against QPR was the first school's focus. And to see the crowd of, what, 20,000, 20,595, I think it was, was was absolutely superb. And uh, I've never seen anything quite like it. The atmosphere, I think, was, was, was brilliant. And I think uh, the kids that came along, I think, contributed to that. And I think... A lot of a lot of mums and dads they will have started supporting the club through their parents bringing them. So I think that's an important message as well: is that mum and dad bring your child along and get them into Huddersfield Town. And there's probably no better time to support them than there is right now. I was going to say the football's exciting enough, but again, there's a lot more for the especially the little ones and just watching 90 minutes on the pitch. So in the family stand, there's face painters, uh, might be balloon modellers, magicians. There's always something in store for, for the little ones on a match day. Oh, definitely. There's, there's I think guess there's something for every. I think that the, the the big show is of course the the football match, but around it the experience around it is 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 pretty good. I mean we are uh, the leader in the football league awards, and we've won I don't know how many years, nine years on the trot now. Uh, family of excellence. I think you know we've got things like Terry and Tilly now, so uh, all those sorts of different elements I think add for a, a good experience and, and one that's value for money as well. Because if you you go to uh, a, a restaurant or something, it can be quite expensive with being at town uh, for very little you can actually have a full day out and, and one where mum and dad are together and uh, with, with obviously the children and it, it's a great experience and, and long may that continue really.